Uh, we're really focused on trying to understand the molecular basis for complex biological systems. Figuring out how the molecules that are present in cells work. And part of that is sort of at the interface between biology, chemistry, and physics. QBI was essentially born out of a QB3 at UCSF. Uh, QB3 has been focused on uh, entrepreneurship, but QBI is an institute focused on academic pursuits. Academic science is meant to be uh, chaotic. It's meant to be chaotic. But um, I think there's value in organizing it a little bit. QBI will bring more of a translational component Traditional molecular biology has been much more of a reductionist type of science, where scientists study a specific gene or a specific protein. Systems biology uh, allows you to look at thousands of proteins or genes at once. We develop computational methods in software to construct models of proteins. By predicting the shape of proteins, you're in a much better position not only to understand their function, but also to modulate it. It's obviously important for drug discovery. Our contribution to drug discovery is usually at the very early end in discovering new mechanisms through which drugs can act and early molecules that are on their way to being drugs. Many uh, of the basic underlying mechanisms in cancer are common between different kinds of cancer. But when you look at the clinical arena, it tends to be split by, is it brain, is it prostate, is it breast, is it body? It's becoming realized that disease is all connected. The uh, proteins that are hijacked by HIV are the same uh, proteins and genes that are being mutated in different cancers that are also being hijacked by, say, tuberculosis or different viruses. And the data and the technology uh, allows for a collaboration. Entities such as QBI can bring together, based upon the basic mechanisms and the underlying similarities between the various diseases, and then to be able to use those across different applications. There may be treatments already uh, for one disease that would actually be much, much more effective for another disease. We have lots and lots of facts that we've accumulated, but to me, forming QBI, I think, really gives a central home and really creates a way of pulling people together. I love my colleagues. I love the scientists. Uh, they're brilliant, super interesting, super energetic people, full of optimism. In order to work such long hours uh, and in such close quarters, one needs to uh, have a lot of fun. Uh, fun goes hand in hand with passion. I think if you're passionate about something, you will have fun doing it. The ideas get passed back and forth from one person to another. And then all that just keeps exploding in terms of, you know, more and more science. I think being free and loose is crucial in an academic setting in order to make big discoveries.